In the last video, we dove into the symbolism behind the next potential game mechanic in Sword and Shield. Now let's talk about the possibility of it being true. Let's humor the idea that a crowd, or a large group of people, can turn the tides of a battle. What would that look like? Have we seen it before? If we've seen something like this before, how did it affect the tide of battle? Think about the most memorable moment in Pokemon the first movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back. You know the part I'm talking about. The moment where Ash jumps in to stop all the fighting, and he gets turned to stone. What happens next? He turns to stone, Pikachu cries, and everybody fucking cries. I cried, you cried, it's okay, I'm a man, and I cried. From all the crying, and pain and suffering, all the tears cultivated to Ash and revived him so he could live once again. My question to you fellow Pokemon trainers, will this very same crowd energy make its way into Sword and Shield? Who knows? But it sure is fun to talk about so I'm going to keep doing it. Come to think of it, this type of morale energy or crowdfunded energy kind of reminds me of Pokemon contests in a way. You have to use the best move combinations to entertain the crowd, to get them all hyped up, to get them on your side basically, and then you win points and then they lose points. For some reason. I don't know why they lose points in the anime. That's weird. Like in the Battle Frontier arc in the anime, I thought that was weird. If you do something cool, that means they get to suffer. I don't agree with that. But when you think about it, this is the perfect time to have something like a contest be incorporated into the anime. That's because of the lineage that goes along with the different generations. The Kalos League has its lineage to the Hoenn League. The Galar region is going to have something a lot similar to the Sinnoh region because of all the hype towards the Sinnoh remakes. And it's just gonna happen. We know it's gonna happen. It's predictable. We're all gonna play it. You know my banter about that. So here's how the formula I think is gonna go. The Hoenn region has some sort of Pokemon contest, and then the Kalos region has some kind of Pokemon contest variant. Looking at the Sinnoh region, they had a Pokemon contest, so I'm led to believe that the Galar region is going to have some sort of contest variant, if this whole lineage theory is correct. Only this time, I think they're going to be combining the elements of battling and the elements of performance into one. Hence the sports theme, because it's both entertainment and athletics combined. Much like how soccer is. You know, the sport that was invented in the United Kingdom. Of course, they could have a different contest-like system in the anime. I mean, they did that in the Kalos region, and that wasn't anywhere to be seen in the video games. If you ask me, I have a feeling they're going to be doing something in the next Mewtwo Strikes Back evolution. They might introduce this type of group energy that powers up Ash so that he can live again. Kind of like how they introduced Mega Evolutions in Pokemon Origins. Or how they introduced Mega Mewtwo Y in the 16th Pokemon movie Genesect and the Legend Awakened. Like in Pokemon Movie 20, Pokemon I Choose You, it wasn't an exact copy and paste from the first episode of Pokemon into the movie. No, it was a retelling of the same original story, but it was reimagined. So something tells me that Mewtwo Strikes Back isn't going to be just a copy and paste. That would be a little bit too convenient. If I'm wrong, and it's just a 3D version of the original movie that we know and love, then I'm perfectly fine with that. No hard feelings. But I have a feeling that some way, they're going to incorporate that mechanic into one of the movies, or some of the anime, if they didn't do it in the movie. I've given you my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to get a conversation going about this. And if I'm completely wrong, no one's gonna get hurt. This is a video game franchise. This is a trading card game franchise. This is a uh, franchise that is not to be taken too seriously. And if it does, then... You know, you got you gotta you gotta get better hobbies, man. Don't get me wrong, I love Pokemon as much as the next guy. 
but the minute I got too serious and too involved with it, it took out all the fun. There are so many competitive battlers out there that are just worried about winning. And then they end up becoming the rival or the bad guy like Paul or Trip or Gary Oak. And then they just suck as people. And that defeats the whole purpose. You, you're no longer like the protagonist. You're the rival. You're the one that picks... You know, the one that... You're the one that picks the Pokemon that nobody else wants. Looking at you, Bulbasaur. I'm kidding. I love Bulbasaur. Don't don't hate me. Don't I don't want any hate from you Bulbasaur lovers. I love you all. So yeah, feel free to comment and uh, leave your thoughts. Hope to get back to you and take care.